Hello and welcome back. Um, welcome to part two. <laughs> uh, in part two, we're going to get going with the RPC tutorial. And um, what an RPC is is basically calling a function over a network. That's pretty much all it is. So if you wanted to make the the server authoritative, what you do is you'd um, in the client you let's say you click on an object and that object needs to change the co color then you click on it and then um, an information would be sent to the server, the server would process it and then send a message to every client if if it was true that it should be changed color um, it'll send a message to every client um, and ask the client to you know render it a different color so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do that exact example when the player clicks on the cube um, actually yeah, when the player clicks on a cube, it's going to change color. So it's going to be pretty easy, and um, it's a basic way of showing you how it works. All right, so I'm going to stop with that and create a new cube. Place it at zero, 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 just like that. Now I just want to make sure I can see it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right there. Um now also I want a new directional light and I'm just gonna tilt that downwards like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So what we're gonna do is the first thing is to create a new public game object target because that's the object I want to change um, for that I'm going to add my cube to that bit alright good no errors <laughs> don't expect any errors for something like that um, and now we're only going to be able to change it if we're a client so if network peer blah 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 is a client then we're also going to create a button right below that and also actually let me just look at it in game I'm going to have to have a server for that that's the problem with multiplayer -ing. well with the multiplayer game you have to test it from both ways so you always have to have a server what I you what I do to fix that problem is I always have one server running in the background and I only close it if I change the server script. Apart from that I don't touch it. So now I can go in game, start the client, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this button down one and put in a change color button. Okay. Put that there and put that one to fifty. Change that change color change color I'm just going to make the both buttons a bit bigger 110 and 110 okay so now we've done that I'm going to um, do target dot render dot material um, dot color equals color dot what should we change it to green just want to check if it changes first status client change color All right good that starts but you can see in here the cube is white so what we want to do by the end of this is get the client cube to go green and get the server cube to go green and every other client connected to the server to go green as well alright so all we're gonna do for now is a non authoritative um, server uh, I mean um, RPC call so we're gonna do RPC like that and then your void function um, and that is going to be change color I wonder if it there's no U in there why did I put a U Okay. 
and for some reason, all oh, right, okay. This is in the on GY, which is not it's not meant to be there. Just like that. All right. Now that I've done that, all we're gonna do is we're gonna execute that line. And what we can do is remove that from there, and just put in RPC. Um, no network. Yeah, network view. Dot. RPC. String name. So that's the the function. Which is change color. Like that. And then a network player, which is RPC mode. Dot. All. Others. My bad. Um, which includes other players in the server and then uh, we don't have any parameters so we can just finish it off there so now that I've changed that I'm not sure if that's gonna work that client change color no it won't so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut that down and um, in the next tutorial we're gonna finish that off bye bye guys